I don't care whether you believe it or not. But this map will lead you to a hidden treasure in the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, I know. The I'm island of Bongo Bongo. It's not even on a map. Neither was Australia once. If your boat was ready, you'd find it. It's ready. All I need is another 2,000 for the last installment. Yeah, the plane of horses. Me? Never. <laughs> they know you better than I do. Look, kid, I caught six tropical diseases guarding that treasure. I'm telling you, it's there. Here's your 2,000. But I'm warning you. No sweat, Uncle Brady. I'll set sail first thing tomorrow morning. Yeah. At the crack of dawn. There's a treasure there, kid, like Alibaba I never saw. Mmm. It's sitting there, waiting for you. Yeah, yeah. I'm broke. The wheels of luck are again you, huh? I'm afraid so. I mean, I just dropped $2,000. Couldn't care less except that. It wasn't my money. You interested in a little tip from me? Hmm? A fixed race. Get some money and put it all on Big Phil. Borrow, do anything. If you put all your money on Big Phil, you make a fortune. Big Phil? Chocolate's the favorite. Frisco owns it. He's gonna win. Alan, their hoods from Chicago. They don't fool around. They'll beat up the jockey. They've got their money on Big Phil. On Big Phil? Yeah, thanks, Linda. What for? <laughs> I didn't tell you anything. <laughs> That's right. The well, Chicago syndicate thinks chocolate is going to break a leg, huh? Yeah, they put a whole, whole pile of bread on Big Phil. Instead, we, instead we got 30,000 simoleons on chocolate. Great. Now, you know what? What? Another 15 grand on chocolate. But they said he ain't gonna win, Frisk. And I say the winner's chocolate. Now you can take care of Big Phil's jockey. <laughs> <laughs> what do those idiots know in Chicago? I'm with you, Frisk. I don't like taking orders from guys that don't know. How are the girls gonna get to the jockey? Ball him. Hey, hey. Hi. What are you doing here, Grubby? Still betting, betting your money on horses that come in last? No, I'm with a, a bookie now. I learned my lesson. You betting on chocolate? Naturally, he's a sure thing. Fifteen thousand bucks. That makes thirty grand. So long, oh, listen. sucker. Chocolate's up for even money, but I know a guy who's paying double. So if you place your bet with him, we can split the difference. Your boss will never know. Okay, let's go. Now wait a minute. I've got to handle this alone. This bookie wants it on the QT. You can trust me. Right? 
Sure, unless you prefer to die with your head bashed in, huh, muddlehead? Careful. Deliver the money to the table. Mm-hmm. Nice breakaway. Belphegor takes the lead, followed by Calamity Jane, Robertson, Chocolate, and Big Phil. Taking up the tail end on nine... Can you imagine that turkey giving us double? Two to one on Chocolate. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, here's to our benefactor, a toast to chocolate. Yeah, right on. The ladies whip. As they come into the last stretches, belt the door and climb. Come on, boy. Where's Big Phil? I put a lot of money on him. Well, Big Phil is back there. He's the last one. Come on, get with it, chocolate. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 20 yards to go. And it's chocolate by your nose. Winner, fourth race, chocolate. Place, Belphegor. Show, Calamity Jane. There he is. Go get him. Come on, move it. <laughs> Uncle Brady, open. Oh, it's open. Hey, Brady. Uncle Brady, it's me. Come on, wake up. What is it? Good news. Yeah, sure. I'm ready to move out. But you've got to finance me. Fifteen thousand. And of course you're mad. I'll pay you back. What's the matter? Don't you trust me? Trust you? Exactly. I don't trust anybody. Least of all you. Don't come back without any money. Uncle Brady, wake up. Everything's set. You can't pull out now, right? Yeah. Hi. What did you do with the fifteen thousand dollars? The what? What are you there for something? For fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen thousand? What do you want? Who are you? Don't play games with us, buddy. Well, now I get it. You think I'm Alan? No, I'm Johnny, his twin brother. Oh, really? Really? This happens all the time. It's a cross I have to bear. Don't worry. We'll just put your little name on your brother's tomb. Listen, boy, things don't look too good for you. Take this here and go. I already had breakfast. No, the map's inside. The map. Take it and get the hell out of here. Gee, there's a lot of water. I'd need a boat. Need a boat? <laughs> I was only kidding. I've got a great boat. You don't lose the map. Don't worry. Because it really is a treasure. Hiya, Sylvia! How are you? <laughs> Come on, keep your eyes on him. You see him? No. I can, thanks to delicious homemade marmalade by Puffin Brothers. Not to mention the $20,000 prize money they'll pay you if you make it. There's a lot of energy, vim and vigor in Puffin Marmalade, but I mean, it don't pay you. <laughs> oh, Charlie O'Brien, you're something else. Seriously, though, how do you feel about sailing around the earth all by yourself? What do you think you'll miss most after days and days out at sea without ever sighting land? With a bottle of Puffy's sister, I can circumnavigate the whole wide world. Well, he won't really be sailing all this time alone. Ladies and gentlemen, our beautiful parrot, Paquito, will be going along, too. <laughs> Does Paquito enjoy Puffin's marmalade also? Try asking a little critter. Paquito, do you also enjoy Puffin's marmalade? Marmalade mint! Marmalade mint!
Uh, Mama laid an egg. Mama laid an egg. Mm, jam overboard. Marmalade. Overboard. Puffin. Overboard. Marmalade next. Uh, shut up. Or I'll jam this marmalade. <coughs> you know where. Hmm. Another two minutes. And they're done. Don't you stretch your neck on my beans, you understand? Finished. How's it possible? You a parrot or a winged rhinoceros? Hey, buddy, look me in the eye when I talk to you. I'm laying there. And Papa's gonna lay this frying pan. I'll pluck every feather in your body. You'll be a bare ass parrot. No bean stealing. <laughs> Petita's a liar. Three days in a brick for you. Oh. Yeah, and you'll probably fart all night. <laughs> hey, Charlie! Charlie, come on out! How you doing, boys? How's it going, y'all, Buffalo? I saw you dump your sponsor overboard, huh? Yeah. Hey, Charlie! I get a bigger boat. There's never enough room. <laughs> there never will be with you, Lord. <laughs> Need anything, Charlie? No, just come around and pay me a visit if you can. Okay, Charlie. How's your radio? Everything's ship shape. Loud and clear all around. Okay, over and out, sailor. Roger. <laughs> Well then, Paquita, <coughs> the thief ain't you. There's, um, 
Some bean eating thief here. All right. Where are you? Parasitical skunk. I'll make you eat your own liver. Where the hell are you? Come on out. Let's go. Your punishment is going to be commensurate with the time you keep yourself hidden. The stake's big enough to choke a draft horse. Looks more like a shank of hippopotamus to me. Let's slap it down over here for a little air. A perfidious thief might be attracted by a mammoth overgrown beef stick, right? Right! Good bird. Okay, now I'll fake being distracted and play the radio. Up yours! Yeah, up yours too. Here we go. Hallelujah. Sailing sloop puffing the Coast Guard. Puffin to Coast Guard, over. Coast Guard to Puffin, what's up, Charlie, over? Ain't nothing in particular, just calling to say that uh, I'm hooked and know that is uh, the bait has found its mate. We don't dig you, Charlie. You say the bait has found its mate? Yeah, more or less. <laughs> We're not authorized to take coded messages from private sailing craft. Sorry, you have to clear the line, Charlie. <laughs> it's already clear the deck and the fish is jumping. Roger, over and out. Okay, parasite. Yeah. Here we go. Well, a stowaway, huh? Hi. The name's Alan. No, 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 look. There's a reason for everything. And I came here to... To tell you how it happened. Get down. I was running away from these hoods who were out for blood. So am I. They thought I was somebody else. Yeah. And your boat was my last chance. The only place to hide. Miserable guy. No, 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 wait. I, 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 listen, if you like, I can pay my way. Pay your way? A boot in a pants? No. Can't we talk this over? <laughs> <laughs> Careful, it's cold. Hey, wait, get me out! It's criminal! You can't leave me here! Oh, yeah? Well, I couldn't care less, and nobody's gonna bother anyhow. <laughs> it's criminal! Oh. You'll be sorry! This guy's death is gonna be on your conscience! Forever! Oh, no. Hey! Company, three o'clock! Huh? That's even more criminal than me. Holy! You on? Yeah. <laughs> Almost as big as you are, Captain. to drop him off on Rabbit Island, Charlie. Okay, Roger out. And that's it. I'll put you there with the other rabbits and fly away. I hope you know you're gonna have to give me bread and water supply. For 30 days, that's rough. You'll have to do without. Regulations. 
If I wanted to, I could have dumped you overboard, like rotten fish. Now, look, I fell. I didn't get dumped. Besides, you saved me, which attenuates the blame. Instead of a stowaway, I'm one who was shipwrecked. It's that simple. Okay. Stowaway or shipwreck makes no difference. You gotta clean the galley, the decks, the doghouse, the brass, and keep the ship on course. And check the sails. Navigating is not allowed. I mean, a stowaway can't navigate. Right. But you're shipwrecked. Get your ass over here and start cleaning. Snap to, sailor. The blanket. It's mine. I'm getting some shut eye. Aye, aye, sir. Do we stay on this course? Yeah. And wake me up at five. Not earlier. Hmm. Only if you should sight a flying whale. Yes, sir. O'Brien on motor sailor puffin. Atmosphere condition that don't coincide with latest weather bulletin. Please verify. Puffin to California 2, come in, please, over. Come in, California 2, over. California 2, California. What are you? The claws are better than the radio. I mean, it looks like a storm. I'll decide who's to look at the clouds or not. You just do as I tell you. Come in, California. California, too, to Puffin. Come in. Yeah. Something wrong, Captain? No, it's just that the radio doesn't work. And suddenly we have trees sprouting in the ocean. Nah, looks like a wave to me. Give me the binoculars. The what? The binoculars. Oh, like field glasses. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh, the, uh, uh... Here you go. Catch! Huh? No! You lost your binoculars, Captain. I lost them. Yeah. Air binoculars ain't required to tell me that that there's an island. It just might be a mirage. What mirage? You see it too. It's an island with trees on it. Oh, yeah, I, I can see it now. It's an island. Yeah. Hey, you sure can see without binoculars, Captain. The only trouble is it ain't booked. There's only water. In a radius of over 200 miles, ain't one island. You know what? Maybe the winds were favorable. And that is Rabbit Island. Yeah, all right, shut up. Of course is right. Yeah, there's land there. What yeah. it says here, there shouldn't be land. So it's either the compass or me that's crazy. But if it's what I think it is, Stowaway, you better start praying. Can it be fixed? <clears throat> oh, no. Huh. That's not good for the compass. 
How many prayers do you know? Well, there's the Lord's Prayer, the Hail Mary, Act of Contrition. Yeah. No, no, don't do something you may regret. First I'll do I it. I will strip wrecked. Then we'll see if I regret it. <coughs> Come back here. Listen, Captain, let's talk this over. I have something important to tell you. It could change your life. Captain. I'll change your life. <coughs> now, wait, I'm serious. What? Dark enough. Excuse me. A shipwrecked person must be turned over to the authorities. I'm turning you over to the sharks. Shipwreck or stowaway makes no difference to them. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. Oh! Do it with the boat. That's it, Captain. You can make it. <laughs> You're almost there. Keep going. Forget it, Captain. That's life. Thanks a lot. Our only chance is that island. Follow me. Charlie, I mean, Captain. I'm sorry. Captain. I've got to tell you the truth about why I ended up on your... Uh. Come closer. Okay. Uh. As I was saying. Uh. Closer yet? Uh, okay. Hold on. I'm sorry about the compass. I goosed it. You're right. And it's my fault if we ended up here. But I had a real good reason. <laughs> See this island? It's deserted. And you can't find it on any map. <laughs> Understand? I sure do, you weasel. Hey, hey, hold it. Come here. No, no, relax. Relax? I lost a boat in a contract I had with a marmalade company. Only to end up in a deserted island with a sneaky son of a sidewinder. Easy, easy. No, not the coconut. You wouldn't use it anyway. You're too nice a guy. There ain't nobody around here with more loathing and pure hatred than me! Miserable parasite! Hey, cool it. You left the steering gear. That's why you lost your boat. Oh, I should have let that shock him. Now, how will we get back once we find the treasure, huh? Uh, uh, treasure? How'd you know? A hidden treasure. And it's worth millions of dollars on this island. You mean it's true? Look, I'll prove it. This here is my uncle's map. He's got meningitis and the French curse. Otherwise, he'd be here himself. And I'm supposed to believe in a treasure map drawn by your uncle who's got 
The Curtis and meningitis. But, no, calm down, Charlie. I mean, Captain. Okay, okay. Easy. I'm calm. Calm down. Let's get our wits. We've been cast on a desert island. And if I don't kill you, it's only because I might have to do it later. For food. Now, I'll go here and you go there. And if this island ain't no fairy tale, we'll meet up on the other side. Otherwise, we'll never meet again, which is my fondest hope. I got it. Wait, you miserable, conniving galley rat. You snicker. You were out to kill me, weren't you? You're the one who started shooting. Where'd you find that gun? I don't have a gun. Ha. Ah, doesn't have a gun. And there's only two of us on the island. All right, where's that gun? Don't you understand? There's somebody else who is looking for the treasure. <laughs> They're on to you, Charlie. They're not aiming at me. We better get out of here. Uh-huh. The shots come from the west, so we go east. Hey, that's south, not east. You're looking at it upside down. Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Shouldn't we stick together from now on? <laughs> as much as the idea is obnoxious, I'm afraid it makes pretty good sense. Yeah, yeah. OK. Let's move out of here. Hey, I'm giving the orders. Give the orders. Let's move out of here. To the east? Yeah. 
If somebody's shooting at us, it means the treasure's here, Charlie. Old Brady was right. Who'd you say old Brady was? My uncle. Oh, great. It runs in the family. Look, I'm sorry about the vote. And my parrot. And your parrot. And the marmalade contract. Yeah. But I've got Brady's map. And that's the answer to our troubles, Charlie. You're getting on my nerves. Stick with me, Charlie boy. I'll lead you to a treasure that'll make you go down in history. <laughs> Charlie? Charlie? Hey, Charlie! Where are you? Shut up, will you? Follow me and go down in history. Well, how did you get down there? Following an idiot. I'd like to know why anybody would build an underground depot in the middle of the jungle. To hide the treasure. Oh, yeah? Hey. Well, your Uncle Brady forgot his helmet. <laughs> and yet, you know, according to Brady's map, this might be the place. Uh-uh, this is military. The U.S. Army came through here. Look at here. Uniforms, equipment, mess kits. Cigarettes. <laughs> Without filters. Hey, this ought to be good. What ought to be good? Well, this says only Puffin can give you energy, strength, and health. Want some? Chuck it out. Why? Boot it out of here. Oh, I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> Let's take a look down there and see where it leads to. Uh, are you still going east? Shut up. Looks like a door. A door. Me first? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Charlie. Huh? We got visitors. They American? Uh, aliens. Requires diplomacy. Mm hmm. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> I think they're anthropophagi. To me, they look like a bunch of jabonis. Hey. Uh, uh. Come on. Ablu. Alu. Hula huya, touch him. Come on, touch, touch. Touch him. Some bitch. What's that he said? Either he talks or you talk. Hula hunyu, are you? Go, Yankees. Invaders, I kill you. Invaders? I don't understand why you pick on one word. No speak. Go, no speak. Ha speak. Silence. Alu to invader. Invader island. Oh, we're invaders. Ah, oh, but who is he? Anu Lulu. Skit mama. Well, us two have a mama. No, Hana Luxumara, Mama's the queen, queen of the Island, Mongo Bongo. You prisoner, come out. Come prisoner, come out. Oh, out. He's saying we're his prisoners. Hmm. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, Stop prisoner, prisoner, come. Oh, Banana. Hey, oh! Oh, 
Ah, oh, he's like his poor father. He's warlike. He like war. But uh, you look friendly. You're my guest. And of my daughter guest, huh? Nabayoka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Your Highness, uh, Madam, I imagine you're the Queen. Oh, what do you know? He imagines. I was only the Yes, and my name is Mama. You American? How you reach Bongo Bongo? Oh well, that's a long story. The captain went off course, and perhaps I'd better not bring the matter up. We almost got a bullet in the head as soon as we set foot on the island. We don't shoot. We got no guns, we peaceful people. Unless... Unless what? Kamasuka, the Japanese soldier. American and Japanese fight war. Then one day all Americans go, but one Japanese still fight war. He lives in fort. Hmm. And no one ever bothered to tell him the war was over. He don't believe it. But he don't bother us, we don't bother him. <clears throat> Where are you going? What are you doing? May I ask you a personal question just out of scientific curiosity? Tell me, boy. Um, could you tell me if there's been any talk about hidden treasure on this island? <laughs> no treasure on Bongo Bongo. Nothing hidden here. <laughs> Satisfied, knucklehead? There ain't no hidden treasure, so let's knock it off. Ha! Ah! This is our treasure, Bongo Bongo, full of happiness, joy, and lovely. No, lovely. No, lovely, no. How much water? What a mother? Hot water? Hot water? Hot water? Hot water? We kill! We kill! America! Kill her! Alu! Fire! I'm very sorry, but witch doctor, warlike too. I, nothing can do. Ancient tribal custom. Tribe only accepts stranger if they win test of strength. Well, who is we supposed to beat? Fight chief of the tribe? I would never do that. Huh? Go and test my strength against you, Queen Mama. No, me. Him. Hold him up. Hold him up. Hold him up. Oh, you're a bummer. Hold up. Hold up. says that, the fat man there, that you couldn't beat your way out of a grapefruit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Him. Oh, yeah. He's saying he'd like to take you on first.
How come there ain't a chick in sight? You got a pint there, man. Right? You can look in a hutch, cat. Okay, get on with it. I'll choose the women. Hey, he's choosing the women. Yeah. Oh, 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 mama. Oh, oh, oh. Shame on you. No, oh, no. Give that witch doctor a bromo. He's got a colic. Oh, oh, oh. Get <laughs> Okay, hot dog, let me hear you repeat that. I'll repeat. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sunday, my father, come Yeah, what's that group you got playing now? Who there? Oh, oh, oh. Did you fall this? You got three seconds. Hmm. This is our gig. I'm going to have to tell these sods. Zakatoon! Zakatoon! Hey, try with both. Zakatoon! Zakatoon! Oh. Ah, let me help you. I'll show you. With both feet. Yeah, hold it. Yeah, get down. Ya 
like a tart for you. six times in two days. Don't you know when to quit? Listen, Charlie. According to Uncle Brady's map, the treasure should be somewhere along a line drawn from shore to shore, indicating a spot with 11 coconut palms and two midget palms. So what do we do? Draw up a map of palm clusters? Why not? There aren't that many. 11 palms. You've got to be kidding. The only thing we can do with 11 palms is make a raft and clear out of here. You know what your trouble is? You've got no faith! Oh, sure. Maybe we'll run into a sign that says there's a treasure here, Joe. Why not? It could happen. <sighs> Doesn't seem like the rain's gonna let up. Don't you think we ought to take a break? Take advantage, you mean? The rain makes digging easier. You gotta have faith, right, Anulu? Good job. Hey. Fast. Show. Show. Shut up. Shut up. found a tombstone that sank in the mud. See what it says. Oh, it's voodoo, voodoo. Cut that out, Anulu. Here lies Jonathan Foster, who searched for treasure with Brian Culpepper and died March 16th, 1950. You see what happens to you when you search for treasure that doesn't exist? Yeah, but... This proves there are other people who believe that treasure exists. And just because Forster died, that doesn't mean Culpepper would die, too. <laughs> hmm. Brian Culpepper died March 17th, 1950. <laughs> he went the very next day. Manolo? Watch! You know what? I prefer the rain. Uh, when it rains, it's too wet for you. And when the sun shines, it's too hot for you. Come on, Charlie. It's not that easy to find a buried treasure. Yeah. Dumb suckers like you, though, are pretty easy to find. Keep digging. We're close. I can feel it. Have faith. <gasps> Shooting at him. 
I told you not to go by the fort, Captain. Japanese soldier no like, he shoot. How much ammo does he have? Oh, very much ammo, Japanese ammo. We are in trouble. Mm. Boom, boom. <laughs> Get down, boy. He might just take a pot shot at you. <laughs> Anulu, no. Anulu, no. According to my uncle's map here, you know where the treasure is? It's right under the fort with Kamikaze. His name is Kamasuka. Anyway, I'm not interested. It's all yours. You mean you're quitting? Now that we are so close? I thought you were made of better stuff, Charlie. Yeah. Well, I ain't particularly fond of a bullet in the head. Poor guy still thinks the war's going on. I'm not about to disturb somebody who's been hating us for 30 years or more. Couldn't we just say that the war's over? He'd probably kill us and himself besides. Talking to a guy who peppers you with bullets is plain suicide. I know way to reach Kamasuka. You save us from pirates, we give you war car with cannon. Where are Nulu? Ikati, we have a Anulu, come. 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 Anulu, he keeps talking about bananas. Relax, Charlie. Hmm? Banan. Hey, hula. Oh, bananga. Udra, udra. Udra, ha. Tank, 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 tank. Look at here. A Japanese tank. Tank? There's no way Kamasuka can stop us now. Oh, yeah? And who's going to get this tin can to run? That's not the problem, Charlie. Who knows how to drive it? That thing's standing. That's the easy part. Get inside and do as I tell you. Aye, aye, sir. Shut up. Oh, no, you go tango. No go tango. Yeah, let's go tango, boys. No, go tango. Kamasuka, Kapatang. Ingatsa, you go, you go. Will you shut up? How's it looking there? Huh? The steering wheel's gone. It's not a wheel, they're sticks. Oh, yeah, here they are. Let's hope the jets haven't fizzled out, otherwise we'll never make it. How can the jet be in here? Is a gyro pin there? What's a gyro pin? It's a crank to turn the motor over, knucklehead. Couldn't you say crank? Nomenclature. It's got to be called by its right name. Anulu! That's me. Yeah, take this. For Anulu? Who? For the engine. Taking gifts, Anulu, get going. Ready in there? Mm-hmm. In the driver's seat? I'm sitting in it. Now what? Open up the fuel line. Where is it? Okay, okay, okay. Everything is written in Japanese, Charlie. Yeah. You ready? For what? Forward! I'm pushing, Captain! But it's long bud! Take your foot off the brake hole! Gas. It just wouldn't stop. 
You could have tried putting your foot back on the brake. Now you drive. I intend to. That's enough for Nulu. We're at war now. See my war hat? Patton, General Patton, battle. Hey, get over there. Okay, Captain. You give the orders. You're the boss. Yeah. This here's the cannon. What do you know? I thought it was the horn. Mm -hmm. They start the engines. One and two. Hmm? Okay. Well. Okay. Go back, go back! Go back. No, 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 That's it. That's probably the so-called fort that Brady charted. But how do we get that kamikaze out of there? Hey, Anulu! <laughs> What's in the fort? Gotcha! There's still got big ammunition inside. What you wish? What you wish? What do you see? Nothing yet. He, he's coming out now. I can see the whites of his eyes. Hey, and he can see ours. What's he doing? He's going up the tower. Why doesn't he shoot at the tank? Because he thinks it's Japanese. Oh, yeah. Uh. What happened? I don't know. Why is he shooting? I don't know. Shell and start using the cannon. What? Go, go on. The cannon. Yes, sir. Hey, Captain. Yeah? Which one? This one. Okay, here.
clear. Okay. Grenade! Be careful! Huh? Hold it! No ammunition, Yankee! Yankee invader, come tank, oh, Baba Great Warrior. Oh, oh, I, Great Warrior, but I defeated because they attacked me with a tank. How did they get it, Tanulu? Who gave it to them? Hi, Baba. My Baba, I the tank. Him. <laughs> <laughs> what? The mama, Mama told me to give the tank to her. No, no. It would seem that he's your son. Oh, unfortunately, yes. Oh. Forty years ago, Mama still beautiful princess, not like today. Mama still beautiful. When I was left alone on island, I searched for company like all honorable men. We used to meet every evening, Mama and I, beneath the tall palms near the river and... And I knew the result, huh? But I disowned him. Too much of an idiot. <laughs> And now I am dishonored, too. I ask your pardon to leave your presence. Yeah, it'll make you feel better. Okay, Charlie, let's start digging. No, I'll show them. I'm better at it. Would Kamasuka try to commit Harry Kiri? Huh? No, he just might. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, hold it. No, what you do? Let go. I must cut that Get out. Crying out loud. Still playing tin soldier. The war ended 36 years ago. Now the U.S. and Japan get along pretty good together. But I have fallen in disgrace. I come from a long line of warriors. <laughs> you boys are finished. They got new warriors now. With up-to-date weapons. Electronic watches, look. With music inside, look. Oh, my God. Oh, so... I was always crazy about watches. Yeah, and so was the war minister, you know, Colonel Kawasaki. Oh, oh Kawasaki, yes. Miniature motorcycle oh. king. Those teeny motorcycles. And Fu... Uh, what about Fu... Captain Fujiyama? No, Captain John was a comic strip. Or no. Well, anyway, Japan today, they say, is the most important industrialized country in the world. They'll make anything. Radios, transistors, cars. You know Toyota? Toyota? Oh, she's my auntie. She's the great lady of the night. Yeah, well, I got an aunt Honda. <gasps> I fight for nothing all those years. I go crazy! Oh, come on, don't say that. You probably are crazy, but so's my friend. <laughs> Well, you had a spring, I see. Hey, knucklehead. Uh, oh. huh. Hey, Kamasuka. I've been digging for a hidden treasure. Would you... Would you know where it is exactly? Hidden treasure? <laughs> you see? Never heard of it. There is no hidden pleasure. No, treasure. no, come on, Kamasuka. Don't hold out on us. I know it's here. 
Is that why you come here? You can bet on it. I think I know what you're talking about. Follow me. Well... Huh? Go, 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 go. Many years ago, this door always kept locked with two guards on duty. But now, God's not here anymore, so I go one, two, open. You follow me. Oh, my God. Here we are. Is this what you're looking for? The treasure! Look! The treasure! The treasure! The treasure! The treasure! Oh, now that you found the treasure, you're gonna faint on me? All this loot. Hundreds of... No, no. Thousands of... Millions of dollars. Billions, yes. But of no use to you. No use to us. <laughs> we could put it in a bank and live off the interest for the rest of our lives. Oh, there are no banks in Bongo Bongo and no way to leave island. Well, we can build a raft. Baba, Baba, come on. Continent is too far for raft. Impossible. Upland! Upland! Voodoo! Eagle, like a big bird on the panduka. Look down below. I see it, I see it. According to the map, it's Bongo Bongo. Yeah, Brady's famous treasure island. <laughs> it better be, or I wish he was dead. If he ain't already. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I had to convince him. Yeah, and cracked his left arm. <laughs> well, if I cracked his right, he wouldn't have been able to draw us another map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, poor <full> Brady. <laughs> oh, no, I can't believe it. It's Frisco. You know those dudes? Yeah, I know them. They're the guys who were after me when I... Had to hide in your boat. <laughs> it's like feeding you to the sharks all over again, huh? Yeah. Okay, you guys, let's get the bundle and get out of here. to the map, the fort's just beyond those palms. Let's move. These guys will kill you for nothing. How are we going to defend ourselves when we have no ammunition left? Hey, maybe we can do without it. Anu? Hmm? I've got an idea. Let's stick together. It's got to be through here. Always north? Yeah. Brady was a lush, don't forget. Shut up, shorty. That's enough. Keep it moving. Less than 300 yards. I don't see nobody. So much the better. Yeah, keep, keep your eyes open, though, huh? Hello? What, huh? Who's that? Uh, no, 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 shoot. Anulo, mi, mi Anulo, my name. Anu, Anulo. No, 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 no. You look for treasury? The hell do you know about treasure? Oh, I know. Look, see. This must be the copy that Brady gave to his nephew, Alan. Good job. Alan, get big treasure. He beat us to it. That's what he's telling us. No, 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 hold it. You're a good boy, huh? Ah, good boy, John. Mm, me good boy like you. Ah, good, yes. Yeah, you tell us where treasure ah, I is. I tell you. And you'll be allowed to taste the American heritage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
good for medicine, good for corn. What? Good for his corn. Good, good. We go, huh? Yeah, lead the way. <laughs> away. Uh, pretty fast pace. Now, who are you? Just follow him. What's the big hurry, boss? Hey, he's beginning to run. All right, come on, let's go. Oh, let's oh, go. Oh. Where's this treasure, anyhow? Uh, how should I know? Keep moving. Keep going. Come back here, you pineapple. Through here. Stop where you are! Put your hands up on your head. The trigger on his gun is a little loose. Sorry, boys. The treasure hunt's over. We got here first. <laughs> we'll see about that. I knew it. There is a treasure. What do you think? We came here for a vacation? <laughs> There's a nice cage waiting for you down at the village. Come, village. Anulo, my son. Hmm? You know what to do. Oh, sure, bye. Oh, son of a no good chap. What do you say? Mm, you speak by my paw. Wait a minute. Hold it. What are you doing? <laughs> Thank you. I thank you that uh, for Pa and Mama. Very. <laughs> do to us. Fatten us up to the kill. Speak. Speak, Kamasuka. You. No, you. May I come in, Your Highness? Kamasuka? You asked to see me? I thought the Univers liked to be alone on their first night. My beloved husband wishes to speak with you. Huh. What's up? Tell him. This secret orders of Colonel Tolhanda to be open only when Fort evacuated. And so now I opened it. What did it say? Hmm? It say money not worth paper it printed on. What? Is counterfeit. It's... it's counterfeit? Completely worthless. Can't even buy a hamburger with it. Oh, Mom, it's not possible. Uh, what'll I tell Charlie? He's gonna kill me. Oh, God help me, Mom. Don't despair, my boy. You have done much for us. We give you this treasure. Oh. Mama. My boy, we feel happy if you would accept gift from the heart. Oh, that's very kind. It is our only treasure, but it is yours. Thank you, Kamasuka. Thank you, Mama. But uh, please, don't say anything to Charlie about the money. I'm sure he won't mind if I keep this treasure. As a memento. You leaving the island? Afraid so. 
But without him, I hope. It's easier to stay. How could anyone separate the two of you? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's so long. No, wait. No, Mama. Hey, Charlie, you're a No good, twinkly, blue-eyed, conniving snake. Thought you could fake me out, huh? Double crosser. I'm taking the treasure to make up for the loss of my boat and for all the trouble you caused me. I'm leaving and I hope I never see you again. Charlie. Charlie? Huh? <laughs> oh, Alva. Look at you, no go a bongo bongo. I'm sorry I didn't get the last part. You photo go? Yeah, I might as well. <laughs> No point in hanging around. You first get bliss, Alva. You want a what? Mm. Ah, goodbye. A goodbye kiss. Mm. Mm -hmm. A goodbye kiss, you said. No, let's say, off Vieter's aim. So long for now, because Charlie's coming back, yeah. <laughs> Charlie go bongo bongo. We are very sad if Charlie leaves. Oh, uh, but it's just temporary. Like I told you, um, look, I'll be back before you can say goodbye, Charlie dear. First, Charlie give you love, bliss. You don't say bliss, you say kiss. Mm. 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 <laughs> oh, Charlie. What is this, some sort of conspiracy? Wait for me, too. Wait. Please, before I leave, give Bliss to me his promise of love. You want a, a Bliss? Testing frequency radio. Can anyone hear me? Come in, please. Over. Hello, hello. Anyone on this frequency, please? U.S. Aircraft Carrier Forestall here. Aircraft Carrier Forestall. We hear you loud and clear. Give us your position and identification, please. Hello, hello. I'm afraid I don't recall the letters of this aircraft. Your position. Maybe you can help me out. You're approximately 100 miles away. You gotta be kidding. Thank you, pardon? No, it's only I was taking a look at the fuel gauge. I don't think I can cover 100 miles. Could you possibly come a little closer? Why did you take off if you were low on fuel? I made a, a boo-boo. 
What was your point of departure? Oh, well, that's easy. I took off from the island of Chow Ki not more than 25 minutes ago. The airstrip to Chow Ki was destroyed in the last World War. You better get your story straight up there. Uh, my uh, plane is an amphib. Uh, goes in water. Bye. Man, oh, man. Where's my beer? It's over here. I've got it. Relax. Hey, double-crossing no... No, Charlie, you can't ask me to leave. I haven't got the parachute. How is it possible you got on board? No, 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 don't tell me I know. You made those three little fickle chippies follow me so I'd waste time when you get on board first. You were gonna leave me alone on that almost deserted island and take off with all that money. Uh, by the way, it's fake. How's that? Fake, make-believe, phony, counterfeit. You mean after all the trouble you put me through the dough is fake? It's not my fault. The U.S. government got the bright idea of flooding Japan with fake money, not me. I'll bat your pretty little head in, you no good son of a side finder. I'll kill you, so help. You're going down, you're going down, Charlie! Blaming the U.S. government. Shame on you. Look at it this way. When the U.S. Treasury finds out what we discovered, they'll give us a medal. For sure. The government will give us a medal? Without a doubt. We'll be handing all those phony dollars over to the U.S. Navy instead of letting those creeps get to it. They're gonna make heroes out of us. Come on, Charlie. Call the forest door. Uh... Hello, Charlie! Alex! Hey. Charlie! Alex! I'm interference coming through from another band. Hello! Alex! Charlie! This is Kamasuka! Kamasuka! You hear me? Charlie Allen! Kamasuka calling Charlie Allen! I hope you can hear me in sky. Bad pirates come back to island. Also, gangsters in cage free. They want treasure. I say we got no treasure. They say you got treasure. So you tell me treasure is not an island. They say they will kill all women and babies. Hello, hello, Charlie Allen. You hear me? What are you trying to pull on me, two man, two? I'm not Chinese. It's Frisco. They took off without the treasure. I know. They just call it time. If you don't talk, I'll slit your throat. I'll blow your brains out, you understand? Hey, Fresco, we've got the money. So keep your hands off those people. Take it easy, Alan. We can pick up their signal, but their radio ain't powerful enough to get us. Well, what should we do? We can't leave them to those creeps. I don't suppose we can. Forrest all, Forrest all, I'm sorry to bother you, old buddy. Afraid I'm gonna run plum out of gas soon, so I'll try landing back on the island. Incidentally, we found something that may interest you. Over and out. Charlie, it's none of my business. Do we have enough gas to get back to the island? Nope. No? There's about two gallons left in here, but I think that'll be good enough to shoo us in. What do you mean? Like birds flapping their feathers, look at the gulls as they rise high until their wings block, allowing them to alight on the earth. They flick their tails to port and to starboard, these winged sailors. The wind is a friend, instinct their only thought. <laughs> the wind, air currents, instinct, great. But if those shouldn't work, they've got wings to flap. Who's gonna give us wings to flap? Oh, our guardian angels. Oh, no. Hiya! Who does the clothes swallow? Shut up, and that goes for you too, cue ball. And your indigenous son, the bone-headed Pekingese. Beast! You take advantage because Charlie and Allen are not here to help us. You see this gun? It's the only one left, loaded on the whole island. There's six bullets in here. The odds are with me. <laughs> no, don't! My God! My God! Shut up back there! <laughs> and now, there are just two left. One for you, and one for your banana boy. 
Don't worry, son. Hmm. Alan and Charlie will come to save us. Nah, we gonna die, Papa. Boom, boom, dead. <laughs> I straighten him out? Yes, certainly. Thank you, good. Shot in the head is good for him now and then. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mama, I look big, strong. I no look Katsuma. No, 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 Katsuma, Mama. Katsuma. Ah, oh, these swords. 
No, not the feet, not again. Not the feet. Your head. Ah! Oh! Hold it, hold it. You ready? Ready. Get Go get him, you worms! I'll start it. I said, go get him! He said, go get him! Kill them! Pulverize them! Disintegrate them! Make meatballs out of them! Yeah, and you'll feel sorry. I don't have my wig. Uh, whatever you say, Governor. Uh, oh, my head! Sorry. Thank you so much. <laughs> and wishes to offer to them both my three daughters. Three for two? The odd number would create a problem. Yeah. Ha! The forest all notified the Coast Guard, like I said they would. That's what I said. Yeah. Yes, Coast Guard. Ooh. Listen, we're gonna take those creeps and the treasure and hand them over to the military. You go find some place where they can't see your people. Really? Why? They'll see a deserted island and you won't be bothered. Ah! Alan is wise and Charlie's a prophet. <laughs> a big kiss, all right? Watch out! Ah. Kiss the air of voodoo. Alan and Charlie. Everybody now! Hide, hide! Go hide! Voodoo! Have we died? I say thank you, great warrior, but. I wish to remain an island because your world makes me feel sick. <laughs> hop along, hop along, hop along, <laughs> hop along, hop along. <laughs> Listen about this loot. You really sure? Sure about what? Handing those beautiful bills to the military. Sure, I'm sure. They're thick, aren't they? Hey, do you want me to think you're thinking something you shouldn't be thinking? <laughs> Not me. You're the one that's thinking about it. Yeah. $265 million. $280 million. Two hundred and eighty-five million. Sure is a great privilege for me to be the first to congratulate you. You've shown a great deal of courage. And let's go right ahead and say it. A lot of wholesome honesty, too. Yes, sirree. Thanks, Major. But any law-abiding citizen would have done the same thing. Just a bunch of no-good paper. <laughs> Did you hear that, Wallers? They're calling this no-good paper. I wouldn't mind having some of it, seeing what my paycheck brings in. But Come on. You don't really mean that the money is, um, real. <laughs> sure. Navy's been looking for it for years. Yeah, it would have been bad news if it had fallen in the wrong hands. How much is it? Three hundred million, 
470,923 good old American dollars. Excuse me. How much did you say? And they're not fake. And they're not fake. During the war, the high command spread the word around that the money was no good. Unfortunately, the Japanese government fell for it and left it here. It was the pay money the 11th Fleet was supposed to get over 40 years ago. There was only one man who knew about it, a fellow named Brady. Ah, uh -huh, Brady. Yeah, he fought in this area, but uh, he never divulged a secret. By the way, take a memo, Walt. Yeah. You're gonna have to find Brady. Certainly deserves a recompense for what he did. Yeah, I'd say 3%, at least. Thanks again, Mr. O'Brien. We can't publicize the fact that you notified us. It's top secret. But I'm sure that when the president hears about it, he'll want to congratulate you in person. Uh, Charlie? Is there anything wrong, Mr. O'Brien? Uh, uh no. It, he's just moved by the whole thing, that's all. <laughs> well, can I give you boys a lift? Uh, me, thanks. I, no. I... I got a few things to do here. And him, too. Right? Uh, right. <laughs> I meant thanks, but no thanks. All right. Let's go. Okay, gentlemen. Move it out. Bye. I don't think it's worth anything, yet it does belong to those two guys. Well, I'll send it on their behalf to the Anthropological Museum in Washington. Their experts there will appraise it. Yes, sir. Hey, guys, look. Nice, huh? Yeah, I got one in my locker. Hell you do. As they say, he who loses a treasure finds a friend. Oh, yeah. Or no. <laughs> 